Now let's see how you can use Easy Command to operate your railroad. The direction buttons on the Easy Command Control Center will determine which direction your locomotive will run. Press the left button to make your locomotive go forward. Press the right button to put it in reverse. Notice that the red LED above each direction button lights up when the button is activated. These LEDs will tell you at a glance which direction button is active. One of the many features of your Easy Command system is called electric momentum. Electric momentum is the drifting or coasting effect that takes place when you use the speed control knob to shut off power to your locomotive. Rather than coming to an abrupt stop, the engine will stop more gradually. This feature replicates the braking characteristics of a prototype train where it takes some distance to bring thousands of tons of cars to a stop. This means you must plan carefully when cutting power to halt or slow your train down. This brings us to operating more than one locomotive or train at a time. Once you have used the command center to start a locomotive or train running, you can push another number button to activate another locomotive. The first locomotive will continue running at its original settings. Now you can control the other locomotive you have just activated. To change the run settings on the first locomotive, you must push the number button assigned to it and move the speed knob slightly. This will give you control over speed and direction of the locomotive once more. The stop button is for emergency stops only. When it is clicked and released, the power LED will blink slowly and all power to the track is cut off. All trains will stop immediately. When you click and release the stop button again, all of the locomotives or trains will resume running at their preset commands. The locomotive that is under the direct command of the command center will respond to a change in the speed knob setting when the power is put back to the track. The function button enables you to control any optional sound or lighting features that some manufacturers include with their locomotive or decoder products. To activate these features, simply press the function button. The LED next to the number button that is currently active will blink, indicating that you are now in the function mode. You will still be able to control the speed and direction of your locomotive. However, in the function mode, number buttons 1 through 8 will control the optional sound and lighting functions that have been included with your decoder. Consult the manufacturer's instructions that came with your decoder to determine which functions are controlled by which number buttons. Button 10 will control the lights on your locomotive. While you have the Easy Command controller in the function mode, you will not be able to program any new locomotive addresses. To exit the function mode, simply click the function button again. Besides programming a unique digital address for each of your locomotives, the Easy Command Control Center can program the primary running direction of each loco. In a digitally controlled locomotive, the direction of travel is not determined by the polarity of the electrical connection to the track, but rather by the decoder setting. Therefore, it's possible to put together a consist of locomotives facing in different directions and run them as a single unit in the same direction. Here's an example of how to create a consist. Let's say we have three locomotives, number two, number five, and number seven. We have decided that we will give them all one digital address, number two in this case, and program them to run all in the same direction. Here's how to do it. Assemble your locomotives on the track as you want them in your consist. To change the address and direction of number five, click the number five button. The number five LED will light. Now press the number five button again and gently hold it down. Now press and release the stop button. Release the number 5 button. The stop LED will blink fast. The left direction LED will be on regardless of which direction locomotive 5 had been traveling. If the number 5 loco was facing the opposite direction from that of loco number 2, press the right direction button. The right direction LED will light. Next, click the number 2 button. The number 5 LED will go off and the number 2 LED will light. The stop LED will now blink slowly and the direction LED will return to its original on position. The program locomotive will move slightly to indicate that the programming was successful. Now press and release the stop button again. 
The stop LED will change from slowly blinking to being on constantly with no blinking. Repeat steps 1 through 8 above to program locomotive number 7 to the locomotive number 2 address. Now, all of the locomotives in your consist will react to address number 2 and will run simultaneously in the configuration that you have just programmed. If you wish to break up your consist and return each of the locomotives to its original digital address, you must remove the original locomotive number 2 from the layout or put it on an electrically isolated track. Now you can separately reprogram locomotives number 5 and 7 by following the steps outlined below. This will also return each locomotive to its original pre-programmed factory settings. For example, to reprogram original locomotive number 5, put the locomotive on the track by itself. Click the number 2 button and gently hold it down. Press and release the stop button, then release the number 2 button. The power LED will blink fast. Now click the number 5 button. The number 2 LED will go out and the number 5 will go on. The power LED will blink slowly now. Gently click the stop button again. The power LED will stop blinking slowly and will now be on constantly. Activate the locomotive by turning the speed control knob slowly clockwise. Remove locomotive number 5 from the track and repeat these procedures to reprogram locomotive number 7. That's all there is to programming and running your railroad with the Bachman Easy Command Digital Command Control System. The system is designed so that you can easily understand and use it without getting bogged down in a lot of technical details. It's ergonomically comfortable and will provide you with years of trouble-free service. However, if you have any further questions, consult the manual included with your Easy Command Digital Command Control System. Bachman makes and supports a growing product line of DCC-friendly products to use with the Easy Command Digital Command Control System. The Easy Command Walk Around Companion, or Easy Companion for short, was designed to be an auxiliary or secondary controller for the Easy Command Digital Command Control System. Simply connecting an Easy Companion to an Easy Command Control Center allows you and another operator to simultaneously run DCC equipped locomotives on your layout completely independent of each other. Using the Easy Companion gives you even greater flexibility in running your trains and choosing how you want to configure your layout and control your locomotives. The Easy Companion shares many of the same ergonomic design features of the Easy Command Control Center and it will perform the same speed, direction and sound functions that are part of the Easy Command's repertoire. However, the Easy Companion will not program locomotive addresses or consist. But when used in concert with the Easy Command Control Center, the Easy Companion takes you to the next level of DCC train control.